Hey guys, welcome back to more Dog's Life. This is the start of Chapter 3, Boom City. And we're going to start at the station. Just have you listen to the music for a little bit so you can get a basic feel for what it is before I start talking. Anyways, as per usual, the first part is me getting all the scents and the second part is me completing the story missions. So if you want help with the scents, look at this part. If you want help with the mission, look on the next part. And that's all I can really say about that. You can now use the trains to go anywhere in the game, whenever you want. Obviously until you've completed the Doberman missions in both uh, Lake Miniwawa Cafe and the Clarksville City Centre, you wouldn't be able to use the trains, but now you can, so yep. So if you missed any bones, you can go back to the previous areas and get them. You could have already went back to Clarksville, but now you can go back to Lit Mini Wawa if you want, straight from the beginning of Boom City. So this is actually the last level, I suppose, in the game. Well, not level, because there's levels. This is the last area in the game, the last chapter. Boom City. It's got a kind of a Victorian... Maybe not Victorian, but early... 20th century feel about it. In a, you notice that quite a lot in American cities. You've got this kind of like, how do I put it, traditional feel to it. There's lots of big, elaborate, glitzy cities like New York, and then you've got little old village type ones. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's, yeah. For some reason when I think of that I think New Hampshire, but maybe that's just because it sounds posh. I don't know. Anyways, make your way onto the top of here because there are some scents up here. I think the official term is scent, but you can use smell as well, I don't think it really makes any difference. So before you actually leave the station area, you should have 19 purple scents. There's no yellows in this area, there's no reds in this area, and there's no blues in this area. Essence of dead rat. Anyways, Jake won't jump more than about that much, so let's jump back straight on. Well done. So I'm going to have to use that box we used to get up, to get on, to get off, not on. I, I don't know... Whoa, let's talk about this first. This LP... Guide seems to have gone on for quite a while actually, but I checked it. I was doing the playlist yesterday to up update it, and uh, it's o this is only part 17 of the whole thing. So this game has not been going on very long. This is currently still underneath Yu Gi Oh! for the shortest project I've done. I, I would never have guessed that, but it's true, so it won't be. There's another six. Five, six, seven parts left in this, probably. Nah, probably about six or seven. Be sure to come into this area. This Whoa, is actually where the dog kennel is. So you can actually see if the game in this area of Boom City Station. And there's a lot of purple scents and a hidden bone, which is buried behind the tree. I like oh, it a lot. Delicious. I like it a lot. Anyways, um, not really much use to use the kennel right now, so we're just going to go and keep collecting small purple scents. There are a couple which are just like isolated and on their own, which makes it a bit difficult to track, keep track of where all the scents are, but I manage it eventually. Oh yes, nice and stinky does it. Purple scents all over the place. I actually noticed there in the recording that I've just missed one a bit further back, which I didn't notice when I was recording. I might notice it now. Yep. Probably. Nope. Nope. Have I? No. I don't think I did. 
There's an F1 on the other side of the road, which I missed. I'm just going to get the yellow sense, and I think this one starts a paying game. Although I don't think I do this until the end of the video. Whoa, don't step in that. I think I just collect the seven and then think, no, let's not start it yet. I think I do the, um, those red kind of scents first. Oh yeah, in Boom City, if there's one of those, um, manholes, then there's always a purple scent on top of them. Well, that's at least what I've noticed. So if you're missing one, just check the road and look for manholes. And there'll probably be one on top of it. Anyways, the red scent give off a chase. Of bones. This'll be like taking candy from a baby. Three great teeth, huh? I've always wanted a Go. decent set of fangs. Anyways, we're chasing after the police dog now. It's very easy. Wow. I feel like an action hero in a console game. But we don't need him right now. We're actually gonna just keep heading up that uh apartment block. Block of flats, whatever. Go up the fire escape. There's a couple of people sent on the fire escape. And there's actually like a huge innuendo at the end of this corridor. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to Talking Pussy. Here on Boom City's CATS Radio, the station dedicated to pretty pussies everywhere. Our special guest today is our longtime sponsor, the delightful, talented, and rather small. Yep, Talking Pussies. Delicious, scrumptious pussies. Apparently. Yeah. Anyways, this is the blue scent mission. It's actually really easy. I don't think there's any hard ones to spot. Just head down the fire escape. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. And they're actually. Get out of my way. Behind here. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, oh, yes. eleven, twelve. There we go, that's the purple scents done, so the rest of the video is just the yellow and the purple scents. Whoa. That's what it's all about. If you're interested for the next part, the main mission, which will be uploaded later today, the main mission is actually about a burglar and that's actually a running story arc in this area because he actually has a partner and you have to find him as well later on in the in the chapter but that's at Boom City Centre there's the scent that I missed before that I noticed and the last one is actually on top of that building I wasn't 100% sure where it was because it was on its own it was the only one there it's the only purple scent anywhere near that building so I can understand if you missed it because I did as well. So I actually do the yellow scent first and then think to check the building and it's actually on there. So we're going to do the yellow scent first which is actually a peeing game. Just give me a second to decide that I can't find the purple scent. Because you think it would be down like one of these alleyway things, yeah but it's not. Oh it's the yellow scent. We'll start the peeing game. At last, a peeing game. Mark the corners. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. There's something I want to keep trying to do. There was a comment on the last video which basically said that it was by a Mr. Hey, Zebra Gamer. And he basically just said that hey, I almost stepped in that. from the end of the game he did kind of feel as if the game was unfinished. Now I'd like people to maybe discuss these ideas a bit more in the comments, give people something to talk about, because apart from that it's me doing the same scent type missions over and over and over again, so it's a bit hard to be inspired by that. So personally, I see his point, the first cutscene is like really, really good, and then after that it's kind of like normal in-game cutscenes, doesn't look quite as good. It's, it's the only, the first cutscene is the only cutscene in the game that looks anything like that. The rest of them just look like the game. You wonder why they did that. Maybe they ran out of time, maybe they got lazy, maybe it was taking up too much memory. I have absolutely no idea. But it's quite common for games to get their um, release date pushed up or the release date to be kept strict. So they've got to, 
you lose some of the quality. Anyways, there's the purple scent and the yellow scent done within a matter of seconds. So, that's basically all for this part. But yeah, if you want to discuss, I, I doubt very many of you have actually played Dog's Life. It's not a extremely popular game. It's not a popular game at all. But, that's why I'm doing it. I only, I'm only doing this really because of the uh, fact it hasn't been done before. Well anyways, that is the end of part one. I'm gonna collect my two bones to take me up to a hundred, meaning twenty-five left, and I will like see you lot. in part two of chapter three for the storyline missions of Boom City Station.